Good morning, everyone. This is uh, video nine in the UI Path Studio familiarity ser series. Thank you for joining me again. Today, we're going to be talking about the debug um, ribbon. Now, with the last time we discussed the ribbon, this top portion of the screen where it says home design and bug towards the left and debug um, was in the beginning. We Video one and two, we talked about the home screen and what, what makes it up. And then we came into the design screen where we talked about activities, projects, snippets. We talked about all of this stuff, data management properties, objects, uh, repository, outline, a little bit about text, test explorer. So it's like we've done home, right? I'm gonna come back now. We're doing, we've done design. We've been through pretty much everything below this and I want us to talk about debug now so I'm gonna click on that because it's it's a big part of um, you know when you're building an automation you want to make sure things work properly before you you know get to the production environment right so you know typically you you want to test it step by step to make sure everything works perfectly and so that's where the debug screen comes in. Literally means look for bugs and remove them, right? So this is just this video is just to get you familiar with um, some of the more frequent things you're going to be dealing with. So as you can see, this screen has debug, step into, step over, step out. So we're going to try and talk a little bit about all these elements without making the video too long, right? So if we're on the same page. Um, you should have this as your, I mean, this is the last thing we did. So you should have this sequence, uh, and inside this sequence, we should have object repo and then inside object repo, you should have all this stuff, which if I click this top, um, right button of, in every one of these boxes, it will just collapse everything. Right? So if I want to expand that, I open it again. So if I click this, you'll see that it's just a single sequence inside this main sequence and, and you know just to be main sequence yeah so just to differentiate right we basically have just one sequence of activities called object repository and if you remember we used it to train uh, to teach the bot how to press certain keys on the calculator and practice snippets and object repository so it's still useful and we're going to continue using it um However, like I said, if you collapse it, you'll see that there's only one set of activities inside this sequence of events. To illustrate this better, I'm going to need you to do one thing before we progress, and that is um, use another um, <clears throat> sequence, right? I want to put so that we have two different sets of activities within this sequence, right? And what do I want to do in there? object repo this is just to differentiate them right right that's after you finish project repo I want you to do this set of activities now we're not going to do anything fancy I'm just going to put in a message box and then I'm going to type whenever you're using text you have got to put it you have got to put it inside double quotes so hello stranger you know whatever <laughs> and so what it's going to do is it's going to execute these activities and then it's going to move on to this message box and throw a pop-up that says hello stranger and if you go to properties you'll see here that um, there are a number of things we can do with this message box some of the things we can do include tell it to close after a certain number of seconds so i'm going to say close after like um three seconds right um and then which buttons are there uh, quite irrelevant here but just showing you some of the properties of this and yeah so that's all i need i just wanted to automatically close after three seconds that's the only adjustment i want to make to this so quickly do those two things so that we have i mean we have this these two sets of activities inside this main sequence because that's important for what we are about to try and do right and so just to recap 
if you expand this, you'll find that this is the sequence which we created in video four or so uh, to learn about object repositories and this one which you just created today, right now, right? So we have two sets of activities and I'm going to um, basically minimize them so that you can see the flow. Another way for you to see an outline is if we use the outline panel right here and you see that, oh, this object repo up here is the main thing. And inside this, we have the main sequence. Inside the main sequence, we have object repo and post object repo. And then, of course, what is in object repo is mes mes message box. But if you expand this, you'll see all this stuff under object repo, a lot of activities. So essentially, this is the same thing, right? I'm going to close this too. So we're looking at the outline is the same thing as what we're looking at in the um, developers panel, right? Um, so before we go on, make sure that these two are in place because it's important. Now, if I hit the debug button here, this blue button, and I, w I wanted to test my process, what will happen is pretty straightforward. It's going to just go through everything that we've done. And if there's any error, it will it's throw some kind of loud red um, warning. But, you know, as you can see, it opens the calculator presses the keys just as we instructed and then it's going to open that pop-up and then after three seconds the pop-up will close so all done so it worked very well but assuming you know you didn't know for sure that it was going to work then you want to debug you want you want to check you know does this work well right you want to look inside it and maybe do one step at a time make sure everything works before you you move ahead right that's the logic of this debugging so you clean out everything that you find to be wrong before you move to the next step so what you would do in such an instance would be you would, you would use the step into now, now this is what i'm clicking on now now what that does is that it's you know step into is f f11 is the shortcut for it if you ever decide to but what it does is that it debugs it debugs each activity one by one Right, just as the narrative says here, right? You want to check that each, each step in the process is working properly. Now, looking at the outline panel on your right, you will see that there are a number of steps inside object repo. So it, it will first of all check this step, then it will move on to this step and this step and this step one by one for each time you click the step into. So again, I'm going to go back out here and I'm going to hit step into. So watch what it does. The first thing is it highlights everything. It hasn't done anything. So if I click step into now, it goes to the next level inside the process, which is object repo um, sequence. And you do it again, it's going to open it up, right? And inside it, there's calculator up. So you do it again, it opens that one up. And then you see inside the calculator, there are a number of steps it's supposed to do, right? So it's going to do each one, one at a time and stop. So step into refers to step by step, right? So you do one, you see it to move to seven. If you click it again, it will open the calculator, click seven, then stop, right? Now you've got to do this a number of times. So you do the same thing, click five, which is the next step. I'm sorry, you have to do that twice because you just moved to the next step now. And it's, now it's going to click five. So if you click step into it's going to move to the next step right then stop then you click step into again so clearly by now you can see that it's one by one right it takes one step at a time and the advantage is that if anything goes wrong you can fix it you know if you need to uh, rework the elements or respire them so now it has finished everything inside this box called um, the calculator box Right again, I don't know if I can still see. Never mind, you know, it's finished. This box is going if you step into it again, it's going to move on, try and get out of the box and move on to the next thing, right? So, which would be it's now back out, then it now goes to the next thing, and then it now goes. So, it's like a step by step, uh, and it pops this up, and then, of course, like we said, three seconds, it closes itself. And then you can now click step into for the last step. It's back out and then it's finished now, right? So 
this is probably a good place to stop. The next video we're going to talk about step over and step out. But for the record, you know, you get a good sense of how stepping into each step helps you to like, like, for example, if this didn't work, you can fix it right now. And that, that kind of helps you to granularly analyze how, um, how functional are your, your, automation is right and fix it quickly right so um just before i close this video um there's one more thing i want to talk about there's something called breakpoints and you use them to like force the automation to stop like if i press press this button i'm sorry and i wanted to stop at this point say you know this button don't execute it like all i need to do is right click on it and use toggle breakpoint or f9 and this red mark so it will run everything up to this point if i press play and stop there maybe i i, I wasn't sure this will work and that's why i'm putting this breakpoint here so to do that you can also use this toggle breakpoint this button here and what that does is you it you know this disappears and this brings it in so same thing instead of right clicking you can do that all right so i'm going to stop there for now so that this video is not too long see you in the next one Thank you.